So hi, I'm Alex from PJ Gold Professional and welcome to a brand new video. Now, videos like this get me really excited. Not only because we have an unbelievable backdrop and we're up in St. Andrews, but for questions like this from Jack. So would love to see a video on how to play your best out of terrible lies. Now these shots, you get them right, you will categorically save your score. We all know we can hit it from the middle of the fairway. Well, sometimes we can. I'll put myself in that category as well. But one thing I would say is managing your game when you're not playing your best is the most important thing to lower in your scores. So we're gonna look at playing from thick rough, plug balls in a bunker, also playing off tight, tight lies, and also from a divot. Let's get into the video. We're gonna start with playing from thick rough because as much as we all don't wanna admit it, we will hit it in the rough more often than not. And yeah, I'm very familiar with this from the tee. So, first things first, we have, well, let's get an actual yardage, right? So we've got this, we've got, well, what a shot as well, by the way, don't miss it right, 150. Now, it'd be very, very tempting to get our 7-iron out and go full gun at this, but out of that lie, we can't. So the first thing we need to understand is, take our punishment and go with a little bit more loft. So I've gone with 9-iron, for a very good reason, really. So. If I hit my shot away here, practice swing, with a square club face after one practice swing, look how closed my face is. The grass is catching it on the heel and closing that face down. Now, the lower the lofted club you have, the more likely that loft is just gonna point in the ground and we're gonna dribble it in front of us. So, loft up, grip down that golf club, move the ball slightly back in our stance and make some practice swings where we feel like we're up in our grip pressure and really trying to keep that, that face feels like it's open. So we're not letting it close down. Hopefully just a little bit like this. Oh, I'm over the moon with that. You've also got to anticipate that ball is going to shoot a little bit more left than you would think. So. On not a shot like this, I'm not going to say aim right when you've got the steer on your right-hand side, but if there was no trouble on your right-hand side, just aim a little bit right at target. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Next up, playing out of a divot. Now, we've done the hard thing, haven't we? We've found the fairway, we've ended up in a divot just like that. Now, my heart sinks every time that it happens. So what I want you to think about doing here is, we're getting one about 150 yards from the flag. Having a bit more loft in your hand is gonna really help you in this instance, but the idea of what we're gonna try and do remains the same. So you wanna move the ball slightly back in our stance. I want you to put your weight on your left hand side. And what you've got to understand is we've got to create more of a digging shot on the back of that golf ball. So I would always err on the side of caution with this and go one club less because I'm hitting down so much with my weight on my left hand side, I'm significantly de-lofting that club, really hitting down. And that is exactly how you're gonna be able to get it out of this divot. Be prepared for a bit of a bigger one too. Just like that. A little bit steeper, watching that land. A little bit steeper, a little bit more diggy, and really making sure you get to the back of that ball. Right, it's now time for those little chip shots around the green. Get down in those comments down below, what shot cost you last time you played? Wherever you're playing from, let me know where you're playing. If it's your home course, if it's just a course you play regularly, but what shot cost you? It could be a shank, it could be a duff. Let me know down below. Now, this video is all about making golf stress-free. So we're looking at some tight lies here, and it would be so tempting to grab our most lofted club, attempt to play a nice spinner, and get the ball stopping nice and impressively like the pros do. I want you to avoid that. I'm gonna get my three wood out, and I'm literally just gonna use it like a putting stroke. I just want that ball to get rolling like a putt through this tight turf all the way onto that green. All you've gotta do, Grip down towards the graphite and literally just make a putting stroke. Honestly, your worst shot like that is never going to be as bad as your worst chip. Finally, we're looking at some plugged lies in the bunker. Ooh, especially with that in the background. Plugged lie. Wow. Especially with that in your background. And I don't mean the big black cloud. I mean the sea. Okay, how would you play a plugged lie in the bunker? Now, nice and simply, 
usually in a bunker, we want that club to glide through that sand. But when it's like this, we need that leading edge to dig in behind that ball. So I want you to grip that golf club and have the golf club face nice and square. Dig those feet in, put your weight on your left hand side and have the ball towards the back of your stance. Just anywhere to the right of your zip for a right-handed golfer. And I want you to really concentrate an inch behind the ball hitting down with a light grip pressure and a fair amount of speed. Just like this, or well, hopefully. And the one thing you've got to realize of this is you can't be too picky on your result. It might come out great, it might not, but nine times out of 10, it's gonna roll a lot more than you think. Thanks so much for watching. Go and tackle those hard shots next time you play and lower your score.